guests of Monaco. And it's really been a pleasure for these four years because as many people know, uh, Serene Highnesses, Prince Albert and Princess Charlene are both uh, Olympic quality athletes and, uh, and really are into sports. And it's, it's always a great pleasure to be here in Monaco. But this time, you know, everyone knows that Monaco and Monte Carlo, it's a, an international city well known throughout the world. But for this fight, we have fighters from Russia, Norway, Argentina, China, Ukraine, the United Kingdom, Mexico, Czech Republic, France, Germany. I hope I didn't leave any of them out. It's just a fabulous card, an international event on Saturday night. And it's all here with the ring in the Casino de Monte Carlo. I'm here to tell you more about it for Matchroom Boxing, Mr. Eddie Hearn. Thank you, Michael. It's, uh, I was just saying to Mike, unbelievable that a year has passed since the last tournament here in Monte Carlo, our fourth year now. And it really is an absolute privilege to keep returning to this incredible place and this incredible casino, this incredible room. Joe Caldina just walked in and said, is this where we fight? I said, yeah. How often do you get a chance to experience boxing in a place of such beauty? You know, these guys have boxed at Wembley Stadium, boxed in Madison Square Garden, and this is something completely different. It's an absolute honour to be here um, working, of course, with Casino Monte Carlo and Michael Whitstock as well, who's been such a big supporter. And of course, Prince Albert, who we had the pleasure of his company last year, is such a big supporter of the sport of boxing and such a big supporter of this event. This event has grown and grown from probably three or four fights to I think eight or nine fights, two world championship fights, two big heavyweight fights as well on the card. One of the biggest names in women's sport is Cecilia Breakhouse, the undisputed world champion defending her titles. And the main event for me is probably the best main event we've had as of yet here in Monte Carlo. Uh, Besputin against um, Butayev is a fight that we won in a purse bid, uh, overcoming our friends at top rank. And this is a historic fight for the WBA welterweight world championship. A world championship that was just held by Manny Pacquiao. A world championship that will be contested by two outstanding Russian fighters on Saturday night. Amateur records of over 750 fights between them. They have a big history and there's a big rivalry between these two great fighters to try and be crowned WBA world welterweight champion on Saturday night. Before we speak to the fighters, I'm going to speak to two very important people. Um, firstly, I'm going to pass over from the Casino de Monte Carlo, Boris Donskov, to say a few words. Yeah, thank you everybody. I hope uh, the best for you would for everything. It's a great, great moment for us. And uh, that's what we will do. Enjoy. Thank you, Boris. Michael, thank you so much for your support over these four years. It's kind of like clockwork now between the two teams um, and another great tournament on Saturday night. Good afternoon everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank the, the press. Over the last seven years, you people have been here religiously supporting us, so thanks very much for that. Um, I had lunch with Prince Albert uh, on the weekend, um, and he asked me to please welcome all the fighters and trainers, especially the people that have come for the first time to Monaco, welcome, and hope to see you again. <coughs> I must thank my friend Eddie, and his team, Frank and Matchroom, fantastic people to deal with, deal with. I don't speak to Eddie from one year to the next year, and it all happens. Frank and I speak, brilliant team, and we're very privileged to have you here, Eddie. Um, on top of that, we have a person who's become a very close friend to a lot of people in Monaco. He's world-renowned, and Michael Buffer and, and his wife, Christine, welcome and uh, hope to see you here plenty more. Um, to Pascal and Boris, another first class press conference you've organised. Thank you very much for everything. It's uh, a big pleasure for Eddie and I to be able to work with a team like that. Um, your team have grown and grown with the boxing and it's becoming really professional, so well done for that. Um, I would like to mention um, two people on chat today. They've been very, very important parts of the boxing. Uh, Jean-Louis Mazarel and Pauline, as Eddie knows. 
Jean Louis hasn't been well the last couple of weeks, and I hope he has a speedy recovery. So, just from all of us, I'm going to pass on the message to him to say, get well quickly, and to Pauline, good luck um, with your new venture. We've had um, a young lady started her first uh, tournament now, Marie, and I would say to her, well done on your your first effort, and you're working with good guys like Frank. You have to put up with old guys like me, any professional, you'll have no problem, so I wish you the best of luck for future tournaments. Thank you everyone and I wish the fighters a fantastic tournament. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Michael, and uh, I echo that. Thank you to Boris and Pascal and, uh, and also best wishes as well to Jean-Louis Mazarel and Pauline on her new venture. Uh, Lauren Pons is not Lauren Pons today, but yes, as, we, as we've noticed, but the Monaco uh, Boxing Federation has been so important and integral to the growth of this event, and to speak on their behalf, I'd like to pass over to you. Yes, thank you. Uh, so, uh, I'm not Roman Pions, of course. Um, he is in the plane back from the United States, and the flight is a little bit delight, but he will be um, very pleased to meet you tomorrow at the waiting. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the Monaco Boxing Federation, I would like to welcome you all in this special place of the Principality. For years, the Casino of Monte Carlo has been an hosting boxing galas. Now, again, thanks to the support of Prince Albert, Matchroom, La Société des Bains de Mer, the Government of Monaco, we continue to develop boxing in Monaco. Be sure on Saturday the show will be amazing. All the boxers are here to win and will do their best to succeed. It's clear they are going to get you convinced of it right now. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. And we go to the, the fighters now. Many to talk to. We go to the bottom table first. Firstly, Kulasi, uh, welcome. And a uh, big opportunity for you and obviously working with MTK um, for your performance on Saturday night. A few words, please. Yeah, um, it's a pleasure for me to fight on such a big event and I'm looking forward to show the fans, my friends, my family especially a great performance for all those uh, supporting me this way until here and I'm looking forward to have more fights like this. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you Thalassi. An intriguing matchup is our first televised fight of the night on Saturday, of course, broadcast live on Sky Sports in the UK, broadcast live across the United States on DAZN and all of their networks and territories around the world as well. This is a fascinating fight between one of Britain's top, top young fighters in Joe Caldina right now, Rio Olympian, already amassed a perfect unbeaten record so far, winning British and Commonwealth Championships at lightweight, has now moved down to the super featherweight division and takes on a brilliant, brilliant fighter in Enrique Tinoco from Mexico. Tinoco unfortunately broke the hearts of many British fans when he stopped. Jordan Gill, recently one of our top prospects, also has moved to lightweight before he went the distance with WBC world champion Devin Haney. We'd like to welcome Paco as well and everybody to the team. Firstly, Paco, a few words from Enrique on this fight. Uh, first of all, we want to thank you and Mushroom for having us here. And Tinoco is in great spirits. He trained really hard and he wanted to first probably defend the title at 126. But he's uh, happy to move up and fight at 130. And he just want to prove that what he did in uh, England wasn't just uh, uh, a flock. Like he, he's here to probably do it again, win again. Thank you. Thank you, Becca. Joe, just flown in, fresh, down in a weight class this time. Been a completely perfect uh, professional experience for you so far, picking up a massive titles already. I think, fair to say, by far the toughest test of your career coming on Saturday night. Yeah, um, of course, he's, he's, he's been in with some, some good fighters, uh, Devin Haney being one of them. He stopped Jordan Gill, um, and I know he's been in with a lot of other good fighters, but um, I'm, I'm a different fighter altogether. I'm not saying I'm, I'm miles above everyone he fought or everyone he's beat or whatever, but I know I'm a, a, I'm a different class. I'm, I've gone, I've been to Olympic Games, I've been all around the world, I've 
boxing many other tournaments along with along with uh, a lot of the fighters that are on this table and on the top table. So um, for me, I'm looking to go out and put on a show and get a job done. Obviously, this experience is completely different for you. Remember when you boxed in front of 80,000 people at the Millennium Stadium in your hometown of Cardiff? This is a completely different experience, different environment, and, and, and a great one for you on Saturday. Yeah, of course. Um, as, a, as a professional, I've boxed in many great venues, the Millennium Stadium twice, which is now the Principality, Wembley Stadium, Bramma Lane, the um, O2 Arena. But like I said, I've been all around the world boxing in amateur tournaments where it could be only 20, 30 people there. And I've boxed in, um, in little, uh, little hall, town hall, so, which is probably like 20 people there and there's no atmosphere. So whether it's an atmosphere or not in here, um, it's nothing new to me. As a pro, yeah, but I've been there and done it. Thank you, Joe. Look forward to a great fight. Cordina against Tanoko, WBA Continental Super Featherweight title on Saturday night. We move to the heavyweights now, two intriguing heavyweight contests. We know that uh, the crowd here in Monaco always like to watch these, these big boys, these heavyweight division go at it. Firstly, Pavel, uh, we're going to start with you, Pavel Sauer. Um, welcome, uh, big fight for you against Huey Fury this weekend and uh, looking forward to the challenge. Thank you for the uh, invitation on this, uh, on this match. It's a brilliant um, exploration and uh, uh, I would like to make a trouble for uh, Yuji. Thank you very much. But Huey, he wants to make trouble for you on Saturday night. Um, we saw you coming off a great fight against Alexander Povetkin at the O2 Arena. Um, lost that fight on points in a, in a close points decision and now been working hard with Peter and the team important fight for you on Saturday night. Yeah, 100%. I'm just looking forward to, uh, first of all, it's nice to be back in Monte Carlo, uh, four years once before. Uh, nice day group here as well. The family's always lived around uh, Cairns and stuff, so yeah, it's a pleasure to be back here uh, fighting here. And uh, yeah, I've been in some big fights and uh, like I say, uh, you can see a big difference on uh, Saturday night. We've uh, fixed a lot of problems. Um, and, yeah, I'm just looking forward to putting on a show and uh, getting back in the mix. I think your resume in heavyweight division is probably one of the strongest in terms of the opposition that you fought. You know, Pudov, Joseph Parker, Alexander Povetkin already at such a young age. Important now to get the victory on Saturday and then move into a huge 2020. Yeah, 100%. Listen, I'm not afraid to get in there with anyone. Uh, and the day is all about learning and you've got to take the positives from them fights. And at the end of the day, it's uh, about building and, like I say, getting better from them fights. So, yeah, we've they've all been good learning experience and uh, we're going to see a big difference on Saturday night. Thank you, Huey. Another big threat to the heavyweight division is 20-0 unbeaten Chinese heavyweight Zili Zhang. It's been a pleasure to work with Dino Duva from Rock Nation and we're delighted to bring Zile to the show on Saturday night, his first fight working alongside us with Rock Nation. Great amateur record, great professional record, a real, real threat to the World Heavyweight Championship. And I think when you talk about fighters coming out of, of China, if there's an opportunity for a Chinese heavyweight world champion, it's going to change the sport forever. His opponent, uh, Rudenko, will be with us this afternoon. And now I'm going to turn over to Rock Nation's uh, Dino Duva to say a few words. Thank you, Eddie. Um, I just want to say it's a pleasure to be here. I'm very thankful to Eddie. Frank, Matchroom, the whole team, Monaco, they always treat you well here. Uh, John Gillet has been out of the ring for a little while. He's faced some unfortunate obstacles, but on Saturday night, he's going to make his mark and make people notice that he's a force to be reckoned with in the heavyweight division. And with so much action and great things going on in the heavyweight division now, John Gillet on Saturday night is going to be right in the middle of the mix uh, and people are going to be talking about him. Trust me on that. Um, you know, it's just, it's fitting I think that he's getting back into the ring on this show in Monaco. Last year on the show Eddie did in Monaco, Gillet was supposed to fight on this show. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it to the fight. Um, he was supposed to fight Ustinov. Michael Hunter ended up fighting Ustinov, and now Michael Hunter is right in the mix of the heavyweight championship. 
this fight Saturday night, so he's going to make up for that. And after Saturday night, he's going to be right in the mix also. Um, I just want to acknowledge real quick uh, John Delay's team. He's got a great team around him. First of all, his trainer, Sean George, who's really one of the top young trainers in the world. You're going to hear a lot from him. He's doing a great job with Jalei. And also Jalei's managers, Tommy and Terry Lane. He's got a real solid team around him, and we're really confident that this is his time. And uh, now I want to turn it over to Big Bang, John Jalei. Okay, hello everyone. Um, because uh, it, uh, it, uh, oh, it, uh, it to me my English. Uh, my uh, I speak Chinese and speak Ch uh, English. Okay. Um, 应该去年这个时候我应该在这打比赛 um, I would like to first say sorry to Eddie Hearn Natural because um, I should have fought here last year, but I didn't. Uh, now I'm here, so I would like to showcase everybody what I can do in the ring. Uh,所以说我现在非常感谢我的团队，呃，教练，教，呃，我的顾问，莱恩兄弟，他，他们，呃，Terry，呃。感谢英格杜巴、Kurt，他们给我了很大的动力，给了很大的很多的鼓励，很大的支持，所以说现在我准备一切就绪，然后就期待着明天精彩的比赛。I uh, um, would like to also say thank you to my coach Sean George, uh, my advisor Terry Lake and Tommy Lake and Dino Duva. And uh, Kurt, uh, everyone around me has been pushing me really hard and motivating me, so I can't wait until Saturday. I would like to also thank my fans all over the world and my family, of course. Uh, Saturday, you will see Chinese power. Thank you, Jean Gillet. Thank you. Look forward to Chinese power on Saturday night in the Casino de Monte Carlo. And we go now to the, the uh, co-main event, the un undisputed Women's World Worldweight Championship between Cecilia Breakhouse and Victoria Bustos. Um, women's boxing now has, has become a re revelation, and I think a lot of that is down to Cecilia Breakhouse. Her nickname is the First Lady, and I think she was a pioneer of women's professional boxing when it didn't exist. Um, there wasn't the regular televised women's world championship boxes. There wasn't the, the depth in divisions that there is now. And I think a lot of that is down to Cecilia Breakhouse. She now comes to us as 35 and 0, undefeated with every single belt that you can possibly win in the sport of boxing. And it's a pleasure to be working with her and Tom Loeffler and also Abel as well. Um, one of the greatest coaches out there right now. And she has a tough fight on Saturday night. Her mandatory challenger, Victoria Bustos. It's a pleasure to be working again with Natalia Rivero. Seems to be uh, managing every major fighter now in, in the, the big women's events that we put on. And firstly, we go to the Argentinian team. And Natalia, a few words from you as well. Um, a big fight for Victoria. We saw her in a great fight with Katie Taylor at the Barclay Center in Brooklyn. Another big opportunity on Saturday. Well, thank you, Eddie. You know, it's always a pleasure working with you. Uh, we have a very huge commitment with female boxing, and it's good to know that we are not alone in this business. Victoria Bustos is ready to face Cecilia Breitkus. She's not afraid of her. She's ready to take her and beat a record. And, well, let me give her the word. ¿Qué tal? Buenos días a todos. Muchísimas gracias, Eddie, por esta oportunidad nuevamente a mi promotora Natalia Rivero y a todos ustedes. 
Eh, estoy muy feliz y muy contenta por esta nueva chance mundialista. Me parece que es la más grande de toda mi carrera boxística. Sé que Cecilia es una gran campeona y una gran boxeadora y referente del boxeo, pero creo que todos nos merecemos una oportunidad. Creo que esta es mi oportunidad y lo voy a demostrar el 30. Eh, estamos para grandes cosas. Creo que ya lo hemos demostrado frente a Taylor con una gran pelea y una gran rival y me siento muy confiada y muy bien en esta categoría, muy fuerte y rápida. Entonces creo que no vamos a tener ninguna clase de problema, más allá de que sé que va a ser una pelea dura, pero no tengo ninguna, ninguna duda de que vamos a ganar. She's thankful for you, Eddie, and your people for much room for us as promoters in Argentina with uh, all our promotions. She feels very confident of all the work she, that she has been doing since February, together with her team, Rodolfo Cañetes and Edgardo Rigi. She knows that Cecilia is going to be a, a champion on Saturday night, but she is uh, well, well prepared. She is powerful, she uh, trusts her speed, and all the work that she has been doing for many, many, many months. Uh, she fought against Katie Taylor, so she knows that she's in you know, the first leagues and she's ready for this to become again a world champion. Thank you very much. Thank you, Natalia, Victoria, Team Bustos. Uh, over to Cecilia Breakhouse. Firstly, it's a pleasure to welcome Tom Loeffler here. Tom, you've been to Monaco many, many times. You, you started off things here as well, bringing Gennady Golovkin to Monaco many years ago and, and good to be back and obviously that growth that we talked about with Cecilia you've been a major part of as well. Uh, thank you anyone and thank you and uh, everyone at Matchroom with Frank uh, for this opportunity uh, bringing Cecilia here uh, to defend all of our world titles here on display at the dais. Uh, this is a huge opportunity for her. it's a very tough fight a mandatory uh, title defense against Victoria Bustos uh, I think under uh, Eddie's guidance and with the uh, all the reach that Matrim has, they'll be uh, if Cecilia is successful on Saturday night, they'll be uh, some of the biggest fights in the history of uh, female boxing. Uh, next year, also want to acknowledge uh, Mike Woodstock, who I've known for six years now, going back to the Triple G days. Um, Mike's a huge supporter, along with uh, Prince Albert uh, and Boris, uh, naturally from uh, the casino. Uh, supporting these type of events. Uh, it's a very exclusive event, but it's an event that will be uh, seen worldwide. Uh, Cecilia has fought in some of the biggest venues in the world, uh, and she's excited about fighting here in uh, the casino in Monte Carlo. Uh, it's just a very historic uh, event. Also, uh, Abel Sanchez is here. Uh, he was here for all the Triple G fights, and this will be uh, Cecilia's first fight also, fighting under the uh, tutelage of uh, Abel. And whenever Michael Buffer is here, you know it's a first-class, world-class event. So I want to thank you for all your help, Eddie. Thank you, Tom. I'm Cecilia, welcome. It's a pleasure to be working with you. Been a big fan over the years, and uh, a big opportunity for you on Saturday night. You've been involved in some major fights, and it's a very important time in your career to be successful on Saturday. Yes, it is. So, um, well, first I want to say thank you so much. Um, I. Um, me and my team has gotten the royal treatment since we landed in Monaco. I want to thank uh, the matchroom team. Um, I want to thank all the locals. And it's really not much for me to say. I'm here to beat uh, Bustos on Saturday. And um, I want to make a statement. And, um, and that's it. Just one further question is the growth of women's boxing. Like, you know, obviously you've been such a big driver of that over the years. It must be very nice for you to see now women's boxing finally getting the worldwide recognition with so many great pound for pound fighters coming through. You know, yourself of course an undisputed world champion but really the game has completely changed now and it, it's, it's such a pivotal moment for women's boxing. It is and I'm very happy that I am uh, able to be here and uh, live it because uh, not many fighters has been uh, in this game so long that they have seen both sides, you know, the, the, um, uh, the the place where you have to, well actually the doors to the Olympics was uh, closed for you as a woman and you had to fight to get a spot on a show and a television spot 
and to what we are experiencing today. It's uh, whatever all that has happened the last uh, 10 years, it's, uh, it's amazing to be a part of. Thank you very much, Cecilia. We look forward to break house against Bustos for the undisputed Women's World Welterweight Championship on Saturday night. Now we move on to the main event, just a breathtaking fight between Vespoutin and Butaya. Firstly, I'm going to pass over to another one of our very good friends, Igis Klimas. Igis, for those of you who don't know, represents virtually every major Eastern European fighter, of course, the likes of uh, Vasily Lomachenko, Alexander Husik, who will be here on Saturday night in the arena as well. And this young fighter in Alexander Vesputin is a fighter that I know that Igis Klimas has had his eye on for a while, believed he would reach the pinnacles of the sport, he would become world champion. And on Saturday night, his charge, Alexander Vesputin, gets a chance to become world champion. Firstly, Igis, welcome. It's always a pleasure to see you. And this is a wonderful, wonderful fight on Saturday night. Thank you, Eddie. Yes, this is a very wonderful fight. It's uh, two unbeaten fighters, professionals coming into the ring and challenging for the Wacom WBA. I wanted to thank Metro, I wanted to thank Design to giving this opportunity to show to the world. I wanted to thank our promoter, Top Rank, bringing Alexander Vesputin to, to this point and uh, giving him an opportunity to fight for the championship. Uh, pleasure to be in Monaco, pleasure to be here. I can see this venue as a dream of a promoter's venue. Don't worry about selling your tickets. <laughs> it's easy, easy. Dreamer. Uh, I'm sure Saturday night is going to be a unforgettable, unforgettable night. So it's unfortunate small venue. Not too many people can come to see the live fight. But they're going to be able to see the fight in the design. So. Uh, Make sure, make sure you're not going to miss it. It's going to be a good one. Thank you. Igis, uh, just a question. Obviously, you know Vespoutin and Butayev. This fight for the, the World Welterweight Championship, the title just uh, held by Manny Pacquiao. A massive breakout moment for both fighters and for the winner on Saturday night to go and be involved in some of the biggest fights in the sport. Yes, it is a very, very big fight. A very big fight in the sport, in the boxing. Uh, as I said, you know, it's a two good qualified, good quality fighters stepping into the ring and they're just going to be showing their best. They're going to give both of them because it's a lot to lose at this point. You know, this, is, this is for the winner, it's going to be a very, very uh, breakable career point. Thank you, Igis. Alex, firstly to you, welcome. Um, you and the uh, Butayev have, have shared the ring before as amateurs and have over 700 amateur fights between you. This is a big, big moment for your career on Saturday. It's a great thing, I think, that such a big experience for me and for my opponent. I think that this fight will be more interesting. У нас есть какая-то небольшая электрическая история в плане, что мы должны где-то были боксировать и где-то не боксировали, боксировали в одном весе. Я думаю, что в России это много кому будет интересно и многие помнят нас любителей. Поэтому я думаю, что 30 ноября будет очень интересный бой. It's a, it's a, of course, it's a very wonderful, it's a very good, because between two of us, it's a very big amateur career, and uh, we have the little history in behind, somewhere we had to fight, but we didn't fought. Uh, we, we've been in a, a Russian team, uh, but we, uh, we never met in the ring. So I think it's going to be a very interesting fight for the Russian fans. Many people in Russia are going to be watching that fight. And uh, you know, November 30th is going to be a great night. Thank you, Alex. Radzab, welcome, and we want to as well thank the world uh, boxing team, Andrei Rybinski, also Vadim Kornilov, and everybody who will be in attendance on Saturday night. Um, Radzab, firstly for you, a major opportunity on Saturday night. Всех приветствую. Хочу сказать спасибо Matchroom Boxing, Eddie Hirnov, что дал нам возглавить Такое шоу в этом прекрасном городе. Для меня честь драться в этом казино, где до меня дрались 
Геннадий Головкин, Дмитрий Белов, наверное, большая часть вас гадит шоу. Я, чтобы все зрители ушли довольными. First of all, I want to say thank you for being here, Mushroom Boxing, for promoter. And uh, it's a privilege to be in this show, in this casino, especially in the main event. So I'll do the best to uh, make the beautiful show and come Saturday night, you won't regret it. A lot of people were talking about this fight and they expect it to be a war on Saturday night. Do we expect that kind of fight for the fans? Я надеюсь, что это будет война. Я надеюсь, что он будет держаться, что он не сдастся раньше времени. I hope it's gonna be the war. I hope he's gonna stay and not quit. Okay, we look forward to that. Sputin against Butayev, the WBA World Welterweight Championship. Two fantastic, unbeaten Russian fighters trying to become world champion here in this wonderful casino on Saturday night. Cecilia Breakhouse against Bustos for the undisputed Women's World Welterweight Championship. Huey Fury against Pavel Sauer. Zile Zhang against Rudenko, Joe Caldina against Tanoko. It's an absolutely packed night of boxing live on Sky Sports, on DAZN and all around the world on Saturday night. Again, we want to thank um, everybody from Monaco, of course the casino as well, and Mike Whitstock and the Monaco uh, Boxing Federation as well for all their help. We look forward to a great event and the weigh-in will take place here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Do not miss it. We look forward to seeing you all on Saturday night. The fighters are going to face off up here on the stage and will be available for the media as well. Thank you for coming. We look forward to an amazing event on Saturday. Thank you very much. It is special. Ooh, Absolute dynamite.